my light I don't walk in darkness, you're my light You're my light, Jesus, you're my light I don't walk in darkness, you're my light I don't walk in darkness, you're my light And now I'm a light, Jesus, I'm a light Shedding light, Jesus, shedding light. We're changing lives together, Lord. I'm a light, I'm a light, I'm a light. I'm a light, I'm a light, I'm a light. Oh, 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 oh. Changing lives. Shedding light everywhere, everywhere. Well, just a little introduction as we go into part one of our current series, um, Power of Your Mind. So, we started last time and we did the intro. So today we'll be picking up from where we left off. So we've been going through power of your mind. We've been talking about why your mind is so important. And last time we did the introduction to the book Power of Your Mind by Pastor Chris. And today we'll pick off where we left off. So we'll proceed with chapter one. So today's topic in chapter one is about renewing your mind and the concept of mind management. Praise the word. So today I'm going to be talking about three points. The first point is that it's your responsibility to renew your mind. The second point is that you're the expression of your mind. And the third point is increasing your value by changing the contents of your mind. Praise the Lord. So let us begin. So it's your responsibility to live the life you want or desire. You are the one to make it happen. This is our first point today. It is important to understand that when you're born again, you need to change the way you think about God, heaven, yourself, your circumstances, the world around you, and life in general. God gives you new information and shows you how to relate with other people. That's why in Romans chapter 12 it says, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. When you become a child of God, you must change your form of conversation, your form of way of life. And you cannot do this without information on how to go about it. So God gives you his word and he shows you what to think about him, what to think about other people, what to think about yourself, about the world. Your mindset, he shows you your new mindset through his word. So Romans chapter 12 verse 2 says, But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That is why God says that to you as a child of God and you become born again. Don't act like the rest of the world, but be transformed. Changing your way of thinking, accepting God's opinions and thoughts, exchanging your ideas for his, and learning to think and talk like him. But you cannot think like God, except you have the right material to think on, which is God's word. God's word are his thoughts, clothed in vocabulary. God's words are his thoughts, clothed in vocabulary. Basically, God's word is God speaking. For instance, now you can hear my voice. My voice is a representation of who I am. As you hear the words of God, you're having a conversation with God. He's telling you who he is. What does he do? What does he think about that situation in your life? About this particular uh, situation, let's say about your relationship with people, about your relationship with him, your relationship with darkness. He teaches you, is there darkness in your life? Absolutely not, not if you're a child of God. So don't act like the rest of the world. You must change the way you think you accept God's opinions. You think and talk like him. You exchange your ideas for his, and you learn how to think and talk like him. God has shown us that we can influence our thinking in order to become more productive, successful, and prosperous. 
So, you want to be more productive, you want to be more successful, you want to be more prosperous. You know, the Word of God created the world. If you meditate on the Word of God about your situation long enough, it will change that situation. For instance, let's, let's take in maybe your academics. You're having challenges with your academics. Maybe it's physics. Uh, you're taking physics classes and it's a challenge, you know. Uh, those photons and those planktons. I remember, well, I, I will not digress into that, but I took a physics class a while back and um, those numbers are quite many. L let's say you're in, a such, in such a situation. You begin to tell yourself, I am what God says I am. I have the mind of Christ. You look for scriptures that align to that specific challenge that you're dealing with and you meditate on that, you speak it, you speak it. And before long, you begin to see that those electron figures, those values, they seem lesser and lesser because God becomes bigger and bigger in your spirit. If it's about your finances, you go through the word of God and you look for scriptures that talks about your finances, you join us with Christ. If it is your relationship, whatever it is, Everything in this world was created from the Word of God, by the Word of God. That means it is in the Bible. There is nothing you could deal with that God has not already addressed in His Word. But it's your work to find it, meditate on it, delete those files about that particular subject that are in your mind, and replace them with what God says about that particular situation. You can manage your mind and bring forth excellence, greatness, success, and prosperity. Imagine if this is your life. You're excellent, you're great, you're a success, and you're prosperous. But that's what you are, because that's what God, that, that's what God says. So if your current life does not align with that, we just talked about what to do. You go through the word of God, you look for scriptures that talk about your particular situation, you meditate on them, you meditate on them. The same way you thought yourself to where you are, the same way you think yourself to where God said you should be. And that is a success, great, excellent, and prosperous. Because that is who you are in God, in Christ. And this is your responsibility. So managing your mind determines the character of your personality. And it also determines the quality of life that you live. And this is why Paul in Romans chapter 12 verse 1 to 2 says, Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may be able to prove what is that good, what is that pleasing, what is that acceptable will of God. Be metamorphosed by the renewing of your mind. Replace your old thoughts with new thoughts. Then you can determine the quality of life that you live and you can change your personality. You can do that. You can absolutely create a new whole you with the word of God. In your finances, the way you think, the way you talk, the way you dress, Everything about you, you can absolutely change it with the word of God. So do you desire to change a certain thing? We just talked about a better quality of life. The way to do this is what the above scripture tells us in Romans chapter 12 verse 2. By renewing your mind. And this is what is called mind management. Mind management refers to the concept of reorganizing or reprogramming your mind. The contents and processes of your mind with God's word and aligning your thinking, your perceptions and your mindset about God, about other people, the world and yourself with his word. This is mind management. You replace your opinions, your will, everything about you. You replace it with the word of God. You organize your mind. You decide, I'm going to think this way about a particular subject. Because that's what God says about it. You're managing your mind. That's point number two. That we are talking about now. That you are the expression of your mind. Who you are today is a function of your mind. Your personality is the expression of the contents and working of your mind. The way you are today. The way you talk. The way you dress your finances, your emotions. And this, of course, is at a very basic level, you know, because you're a spirit being. All of that is a function of your mind. Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 7 says, As a man thinks, so is he. How you live, what you do, the character of your words are the expression of your mind. You can work on your mind and change its contents, and that change will show up in your character and the results you have in life. We just talked about 
if it's academics and you don't like what you have now, you take scriptures that relate to that particular thing and you begin to meditate and change your thoughts regarding that particular subject and it will show up in your results. You have a better grade. You have more money to do more the things you desire or you know how better to manage the money that you have. It, it will show up as a result, a tangible result. Point number three, increase your value. Managing your mind is the primary principle for increasing your value, multiplying your success, upgrading your state, and thus enlarging your estate. Maybe you tried before and did all you need to do about something without much success. Try mind management. Manage your mind dif differently regarding that situation. Access your mental hard drive to see what files you need to delete and the new ones you need to download and install. You can make your life happier and much more fulfilling by making the right changes in the structure of your thinking. Important point to establish today, you can transform your life by changing your way of thinking. That is renewing or managing your mind. You can transform your life. You can turn your life into a masterpiece. You can be an influencer, a leader. And I'm not necessarily talking about, you know, like you want to be in that position of power, no. Leadership is about managing your own life, authority in your own life. You live the life that you want. You're not controlled by circumstances. You have what you desire to have and you experience and do what God commissioned you to do. That is authority, that is leadership. Praise the Lord. And you can achieve that. You can have authority in your own life by changing the way you think, managing your mind, constructing tangible structures in your mind that govern what you think or won't think about a particular situation. Hallelujah. So that is chapter one of the power of your mind and we'll proceed again next time. And if you're watching me and you are not born again, I will leave the prayer of salvation in the uh, bottom below. And when you say that prayer, you'll be born again. Send me a message so that I can send you additional information for you to grow as a child of God. I love you and see you next time. Share, subscribe, and definitely leave your comments behind. God bless you.